So when we talk about sustainable transportation, what are kind of things that come to your mind? So, well, you might say that it's electric vehicle, as well as autonomous driving vehicles represented by Tesla. However, let me show you this. According to the survey, American families actually taking a lot more trips over the last five decades. Um, the only category is declining is actually because of online shopping and the delivery tr trucks are actually doing the job for you. And also, we are also traveling a much longer distance for those trips. Um, Another thing that I want to remind you is that 50 reduction of the carbon emission in a life cycle of an electric car. However, there is 15% to 68% of more emissions in the manufacturing process, especially in the raw material production, which will going to happen in developing countries. So in short, in short so in, in the end, we are going to have more families, more trips, longer trips, and move the carbon emission burden to developing countries. You might also think about car sharing uh, initiatives like uh, uh, Lyft or Uber. So how about this? The UCLA students are taking those cars just to go to classrooms. So now we are having our younger generation spoiled by this. Things are getting worse. That's why I really love this quote. Basically saying that the bicycle is the greatest invention in human history. Any other invention can afterwards in the area of mobility has been a threat to our society, to our environment, to our physical health, as well as mental health. How much we have done as a planning community to deal with that? Not enough. We just started bicycle planning as must plan planning um, about 15 years ago. And uh, a lot of cities still do not have must uh, a bicycle master plan. And another question, how much the GIS community has done to support bicycle planning? Far from enough. So when we, when we look at automobiles, we have all kinds of standard data models to document almost every single aspect about uh, transportation, all the way from the type of the pavement to the gas consumption, etc. However, when it comes to bicycle, the only data model I can find is developed by Professor Greg Lindsay at uh, uh, University of Minnesota, just for trails. So in this project, I want to develop a GIS for bicycle planning. I want to develop a data model for bicycle infrastructure. I want to have a set of analytical tools and, and the decision-making tools for bicycle planning. And also, I want to make an app for bicycle users. So the core component in this data model is to define bikeability. So we look at it many different ways to define it. The basic ones include uh, distance and travel time. We look at physical exertion, which is a big part of bicycle, uh, uh, bicycling. And that is, again, based on some calculations uh, uh, from this book, um, Bicycling Science. And more, the most important part actually is the perceived safety. Um, and we look at a variety of factors, environmental factors, that might affect uh, uh, perceived safety, all the way from the type of bicycle lanes, whether you have shared bicycle lane or uh, separated bicycle lane. Look at the vehicle speed right next to you, if you are traveling next to a slow traffic or very fast traffic. And we also look at the type of intersections, whether it's a very dangerous one or it's a very safe one. So we look at a lot of uh, uh, factors. Because of time, I'm only going to give you a snapshot of some of the calculations involved here. So for, the, for example, in this diagram, we are looking at basically four segments of the typical road uh, condition. And we basically applied systematically tested modifiers to adjust the distance so that we can have different approaches to represent uh, physical exertion and the safety uh, as well as the overall uh, bikeability. And then in the end, we were able to create a network data set that can be symbolized in different uh, attributes or, or impedance values. For example, you can see different representation of the network by physical exertion, bikeability, and safety. So if you want to travel from place one to place two using a standard, for example, the, the, the bike routing service on Google Map, uh, you can get this uh, route. Basically, you have to compete with all the traffic in order to get to your destination. However, if you do the routing 
with all the impedance, like safety and the bikeability, so the system is going to tell you that actually there's a much better community uh, uh, bicycling that can take you there. So this is basically what the network data set is able to do. So with that tool, I am able to basically model all the, the behaviors of bicycle commuters based on a data set called CTPP, which basically documents the origin zone and the destination zone uh, of bicycle commuters and I basically modeled all the bicycle uh, uh, commuting routes in my city and I can aggregate it and show the bicycle traffic in my city. And my city also did some actual uh, counts for some intersections and I compared my results with their actual counts. You can see that it's very close. I was even able to identify someone was not so responsible when they did the counting and I told the transportation planner that they may want to fix this. So in the next round, they did fix this. So the result is even better. <laughs> but that's not enough, okay? So the, the product now is able to help the uh, transportation planner to basically, if he wants to add a bicycle lane, so he can actually run the model again and see how many, um, uh, how much more traffic, uh, bicycle traffic that a new bicycle lane can bring. But I really want to change the people's, people's behavior. I want to encourage more people to take a uh, bicycle as a way in their daily life. So I develop a web-based app using the web uh, app builder. So on the app, what you can do here is that look, you look at all the bicycle infrastructure in different layers. So you can see the uh, bicycle accidents, or the accidents involved in with bicycle here. And uh, you can also look at, as if you're a planner, you can also look at the different modes of transportation uh, on the app. I'm sorry. I really want to speed up this. <laughs> and the most important uh, feature is actually you are able to do a, uh, find the best route function with this app. You, you put in origin and destination and choose how you want to find the route by uh, calorie consumption or by safety or by overall bikeability. It will find the route for you and give you the direction. And another feature here is actually give you something called a uh, 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 bike shed. Backshed is basically the way that you can uh, easily reach uh, with bike. And now I'm working on building a web, uh, a mobile phone based app and also want to apply this to uh, electric scooters, electric bicycle. So I'm gonna skip this because of time. Basically I want to go all the way from scientific research, the evidence to change the practice and finally change the behavior. I want to conclude with this because when we invented automobile, um, and the automobile became popular, uh, we made a bad decision to prioritize automobiles over pedestrian and the bicycles. But now as we are experiencing the next revolution in mobility, we really could not make this kind of mistake because we are not able to afford the consequence anymore. Thank you very much.